this happening here. Of course, we'll be getting to keep an eye on the situation out here. Uh, for now, we're live with Davis, Jeff Mark is next. Allowed to play around with our democracy. Boom, boom, boom. They lobby our Congress to deregulate. Homeowners didn't find out until too late. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air boots. Hours of sunlight left. Yeah, maybe if a few people want to go help um, set up, we can do that too. Because we already got to put the numbers here. So, but. I, just, I know, but I just I, I, I feel like this is everybody will be able to sit down. Everybody will be able to think a lot better um, about what we want right now. You know, like I agree with you. It's, just, uh, it's gonna take so, some time, another hour. So I, I'll leave it up to the crowd. I'll okay. my vote. Whatever the crowd wants to do. Alright, is there anybody who wants to go over there now? We have one, two. How many people want to just get it done right now? Yeah, what's done? This resolution. The draft of resolution. Is there anybody who wants to help walk by Davis set up too? Not really, I mean, I, without you guys, I don't really know what to do. Like, so that's the thing is like, I just kind of want to know like what we're dealing with, what people have. Like, we don't really have a lot right now. So I just feel like, I just want to make sure that like as many people as possible do go over there so that we can all like sit down and like commune in a standing in the rain way where we can think of and think about more stuff for tomorrow. Because tomorrow at, I can't remember, but quite early in the morning, the farmer's market. Is there is the dome set up over there yet? No. Oh. <coughs> we need somebody so, to set up a dome. No, yeah. it's not that. I would just, that's the thing is, I'm not quite sure what's happening with the dome. We might not have it till tomorrow. Oh. Realistic. Oh that's just oh my, my opinion. Yeah. Personal opinion. But that's okay. why I don't want to count on us having, we're, we're only going to have that Harvest Mountain shelter tonight. Because in the morning they, they use that. So. We can go to Occupy you UC Davis too because they have, uh, they have 50,000 farm workers in India have committed suicide um, due to Monsanto's um, suicide seeds. And then we can go dot dot dot. Uh, what else? What's else? What else is something that people would like to see on the resolution? We're Agent Orange and Vietnamese, whereas over 500,000 Vietnamese children have been born deformed by Agent Orange and not compensated or been said that they were sorry. Right. So, How many is that like a demand for an apology? 500,000. So, so over 500 other One more time, please. Uh, they can take it down. Oh, is it me? Yeah, because they have to... Oh, they have to over, take whereas over 500,000 Vietnamese children have been born so deformed far. By chemi chemical agent orange directly linked to Monsanto. One thing I know that Monsanto <laughs> probably never Created shut down, it. but maybe one thing that they could do is take their money and invest it into sustainable organic agriculture. Not this GMO, but one day maybe they will be a good company. You know? Did you guys get that? Anything repeated? Got it. Got it. Okay, I'll um, yeah. my head if anybody has it. Go ahead. Uh, there. Yeah. Like 200,000 men, women, and Vietnamese men, women, and children uh, died when uh, uh, Monsanto helped create the atom bomb. Okay, Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. And they created Got that. That's the true. Um, oh, something that. Basically everybody, if you're pro Monsanto, which is pretty much not possible, um, or 
organic farming or whatever is labeling GMOs yes. on, on our food packages. More so. So now with, now like there should be, especially with the, uh, you know, soybean, it's, yeah. it's really, a lot of it is genetically modified, but on some foods, you know, it's, it says that it's organic, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's natural. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to write greater regulation to organic. So yes. Something yeah. like that? Yeah, more regulation on organic. Definitely. And all, one thing, I, I know in small uh, communities in California, a lot of people are trying to ban GMOs altogether and yeah. growing in their town. So, banning GMOs, like anywhere, you know. Reducing the um, genetic um, like variation allowed in organic. Organic should be organic. I don't know if that's possible anymore. Yeah. But, like, like genetic contamination? That's the word. Can we, you can get more specific with that and say, um, um, whereas Monsanto has created Terminator technology which could escape into the wild and kill every living vegetation on the planet. Well, and that's huge, especially if it's putting out resistant, um, it's resistant to other strains and resistant yes. to things like that. It'll outcompete all other vegetation. Right. They're, they're already are super weak, so... It's only one generation. It'll out for one generation. Up, protecting our... Handle. Protecting heirloom Sorry. vegetables and plants and things like that. Keeping up uh, the way that they've been, so... Can you repeat that? Just protecting, uh, like, our heirloom fruits and vegetables. Um, keeping the way that they've always been. Natural and organic. So... Can, can I mend? Yeah. Whereas Monsanto buys hundreds of heirloom seed companies and then destroys the heirloom and replaces them with hybrids. So they don't right. just shelve them, they destroy them. Um, whereas, does anybody know the statistic about um, antibiotics and how we've lost so many, um, I don't know. But I think half of it is used on farm animals. Like half of all antibiotics produced in the United States are used for farm animals. But there's some statistic about what we've lost already. Sure, like what? Did you know that? Are you, are you sure that Monsanto produces antibiotics? No, but they. Um, and they, they create bovine. bovine I guess they do make growth hormone, but I don't know if they do make Wait, antibiotics. I guess that's just the food industrial food problem, but, um, not necessarily tied to Monsanto. Part of the problem with using the bovine growth hormone is that. Um, it tends to enlarge the uh, gutter to the point where it drags on the ground, which causes infections, which is why we have to constantly, in well, they have to be repeatedly injected with, uh, with, 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 that's, that's why there's, there's an issue with antibiotics. It's yes. not, I mean, it's pumped through blood antibiotics as a necessity to combat the natural infections so occurring. Can you put it down into a whereas? The corn, which is whereas, whereas the, the use of bovine growth hormone creates a, creates a situation where, um, where um, antibiotics are unnecessary on where some therapeutic levels of antibiotics are necessary for uh, the yeah. you know, the, the yeah. so of antibiotics sold or used for I have a point of clarification too. Are these like resolutions? Are these problems? Are these, like, uh, causes an enlargement of the other yeah, point. These are the uh, demands, I think. Probably I, should, I think they should be stated the, in demand. The bovine yeah. that the cows yeah. be injected regularly with antibiotics yeah, to a state of the Isn't that what we do at the end? So the problem that a lot of the yeah. resolutions are coming out as they're not enforceable. Food Inc. talked about it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I have further clarify things too. So when you have the the whereas, we can start linking to therefore be it resolved. So like say, Say that we're going. Oh, okay. Say that we're um, getting a little uh, off topic. Like they slowly start to. Uh, 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 injections of uh, antibacterial to combat it can infections. To where it should be to say if that is not related to Monsanto, but it's related to uh, through the problem, which Monsanto. Also, we're interesting fact because a side resolution or something. Because a lot of cows are grass fed, they're fed to see soy and uh, corn based right products. Right they have to have right so a hole cut open in their side so that they can be frequently checked for proper digestion. Well, because they can't, because they don't naturally digest corn and soy nearly your list well as grass. so much agricultural land, I mean, we plant so much food, uh, we a lot, and just growing up, learning about so much runoff, and, uh, water and stuff, and, like, uh, having to deal with, if we're putting all this, and Monsanto puts these 
plants and vegetables onto this onto the land and then sprays all this roundup and then with all the water that they use sprinkler systems and things like that it runs away I'd really like to see California stand up and implement and help out farmers especially small town farmers uh, getting drip system into their farms and reducing that runoff significantly, yeah. helping the environment and our waterways to stop the pollution um, in its tracks. I mean, the, I think I, the biggest thing to stop the pollution in its tracks is the demand that Monsanto stops using the Roundup altogether. Yes. So there would be no Roundup. Therefore, be a result for therefore be a result that we ban uh, usage of Roundup. Bound root uses of Roundup and, and then two four D. Yeah. yeah. I would love to also implement that. Uh, they start, especially big corporations should be big corporations who have all that money should be demanded to put in a drip system. It shouldn't even be an option. They should be demanded to put in a drip system to help protect our environment. There's some kind of water reclamation system for the, the groundwater because as soon as it goes into the ground, the groundwater gets hot. I and mean, there's so many chemicals that are in there, it's stupid. Exactly. If you test the water that comes out of the tap, it's got frozen, it's got all kinds of... Nothing water, protecting us from the water. I've got another word. There. You got another word? Um, whereas Monsanto created the PCB, which is found in every living tissue of every li living being and has not been held financially accountable. The PCB. Right, they do have to lie Where, Whereas Monsanto tests on animals, period. Yep. That says it right there. Right. How, how would we articulate whereas Monsanto's employees, representatives um, are inside our federal government and the FDA? I got it. I got it. So, uh, whereas Monsanto has gotten away with genetically modified organisms in our food supply without proper testing uh, through members in the FDA and the EPA that have been ex-members. Um, Therefore, we ask that all Monsanto members get out of our government, um, especially the FDA and EPA. Does that sound good? Yeah. Which one? We, FDA we can work it. EPA. EPA, FDA, and, and, and yeah, USDA as well. Former Monsanto employees should not be allowed to work in any kind of governmental yes. agricultural department. You know, that's, that's technically well known as the revolving door. Yeah. So you might want to use the revolving door because everybody knows what that is. And that's corporations out of the government in general. Use of verbiage or revolving door. How, how would that be enforceable? Because like, yeah. I mean, in some cases, these people are the ones that are well versed within that sector. But they have the money to hire. Well, yeah, but like, you can assume that in some cases, like, if humanity has goodness in it, which I believe it does, like, some of these people that are like, the CEOs of companies that are, you know, great companies might know something about this industry. Like, that's what they always say. Like, oh, we are so great. Like, glad that Michael Taylor has this amazing professional life outside of his work as a public servant. And so you can kind of, like, I don't know. Should it be banned that all corporations yes. cannot yeah. Yeah, be that's in any regulatory? Right. Because, because yeah. they, they just, they'll go into the government for a few years, change regulations, and they'll go back to their jobs and pay millions of dollars at, at the at Monsanto or wherever. It's a conflict of interest. Yeah. 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 It's a conflict of interest. If we organize statewide, like, we could, but... So they start saying that corporations are no longer people. I don't think they should be in our government. Yeah. Yeah. How do they should be in our government? That should definitely yeah. be part of, the, <laughs> hey, part hey, of the there's resolution. one right there. Whereas Monsanto has been is not a person. A corporation is not a person. We should definitely have that as a whereas. Whereas Monsanto has a birth certificate. So those are like in the like before this. Like, yeah. Like, like assumptions we make. Like. Like, what, wasn't that in the, it was written on, there was like a few of these things written on the event thing, and one of them was corporations are not people. Yeah. Why, why do the, um, why, like, if corporations have human rights, why aren't they not in jail? 
Yeah, like, why are they not being that, prosecuted, you know? That, well, no, that's the advantage of their structure. They the if they can have all the rights of a person without any of the consequences, then yeah, of course yeah. they're going to go for it. <laughs> I mean, you can't arrest one individual in a corporation because they're a collection of people, both the stockholders and the, and the employees, which include the CEO themselves. So, I mean, if you try to target one, they're just going to say, it's not my fault, it's my shareholders' fault, you're the shareholders, and they're like, we just pay them to do to make money. We don't. We're not responsible for whatever they do. Your first yeah. sentence said it all. Whereas Monsanto has the rights of a person, but doesn't pay the consequences. Yeah, Karma. Exactly. Yeah. Therefore, we take them to Texas. Not a person unless I can take them to Texas. They should just have to sign something saying like you will not. Like if they, like you were saying, because some of these people are well versed, have experience. Shouldn't I mean some of them are maybe good, maybe not a lot, but some. So, but like no, like it's it's something that's interesting. Is if they should sign something saying like I will not go back to a company. Like I I'm over my capitalistic company I work for. I'm signing the rights or not the rights, but my well, my ability to go back. So we gotta remove them from being people. Exactly. Okay, I have that. Let's move on. Well, yeah. What about the patents? Patenting on patents. Why? Someone. Wow. Whereas we're, we're cross line. contamination of um, of of local farmers have been <laughs> um, sued. Something about them being sued. What about something like whereas life? It belongs to everyone, or like, yeah. Food, yeah. food which is necessary to human survival. Yeah. Nature belongs to everyone and cannot be owned by a single man. Yeah. Yeah. DC TV? Or corporate media yeah. access. Or corporate media access. Or corporate media access. Camera. Welcome. I'm just announcing. Alright. Davis Media Access right here. They should also be banned from sneaking their products into our like email. Super creepy. Dude, if you've ever been in there, it's like so creepy. I just saw videos. Like, yeah. 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 like, I was wandering around those catacombs for like half an hour. What about, okay, the seeds? I learned this today. Well, maybe not. The seeds, they... They, okay, so for instance, we'll, they'll sell their Monsanto seeds to various different distributors, and then when you, when you, or no, wait, when they're the fruit, so you have a fruit, and then you have like an orange seed that you want to plant in your garden, and it won't ever produce fruit. Is that on there? Okay, sorry. Not all the stuff they produce has a gene in it. Not all the stuff. Is maybe they just do that in other countries, or do they do that here too? Oh, gosh, everywhere. Yeah, a huge case. That was our first yeah. restaurant. Yeah. 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 Uh, you guys have that on the notes? Terminator yeah. technology. Yeah. yeah, that was like the first thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay Sorry, as long as you got that. No, that's cool. You know, um, what about the, the, the farmers in India that commit suicide by drinking the actual poison yeah, powder? The problem is they end up drinking the poisons. Yeah, the Indian season was insane. Huh? Never mind. I'm hearing things clearly. More than anything, I think this message should be like banned. Especially, I think it was uh, DT or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't affect just humans. It affects everything. Everything living. Yeah. Oh. Where is it? Monsanto invented plastic and now it's found in all our oceans in the nano parts. Plastic They wait, they found it? They created plastic. They were one of the first plastic companies. Plastic and chemical company founded in like 1990. They were founded in 01. Oh, one, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think they started making plastic until 29 to 40 or something. Yeah, and then they started making pesticides. Because they had. They had developed. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what was the whereas? I'm sorry. Whereas Monsanto's created plastic and it's destroyed. I mean, I know 90% of the ocean. Yeah. Uh, organisms in the ocean. We demand that Monsanto invest in more biodegradable products. Yes. 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 I don't think you should make any products. <laughs> <laughs> and and Right. Yeah. 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 Y
So whereas uh, Monsanto was a global monopoly, owning 93% of soy, 84% of corn, double checking on someone double check if it's 84% of corn. We'll, we'll finalize over there because um, we have Wi-Fi and everything. Yeah, the percentages. So therefore, just leave it as therefore, yeah. so we can yeah. um, be a result that. Uh, uh, whereas Monsanto is now buying up water rights all over the world. Oh, yeah. And, and selling the water back to the, to the people of the countries where those rights exist. They come. We have two people taking notes. And you know what happened? The officer fell down. And oh, yeah. So where yeah. they stole the water rights. That's what really happened? They stole it with money. Here's what happened. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. 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 And he said to him straight up, he's like, Do you Whereas, want uh, to have to the union? That water should be a human right. Yeah, these water rights to the native people. Oh, no. Or, yeah, wherever like it was before yeah. the water. So the water should have solidarity. Whatever country it lies in, there's a government that uh, just governs their water. Unless they violate world rights I mean, by poisoning the water. No one has the right to poison water. It's, yeah, I don't it's a common valuable research there is. Yeah. It's a common well like, research. We shouldn't have to buy water. We shouldn't have to buy water because that's like that's one of the things that the we can buy. Yeah, it's a common one. Why not poison the air? So they we get that last one. Whereas yeah, Monsanto. Yeah. Monsanto's, Monsanto's products and business model is inherently unsustainable, requiring energy resources that are unrenewable and we are running out of. Um, mass greenhouse gas production. Ma yeah, mass well, greenhouse gas production. Oh, okay. What's the second part? Therefore as... Uh, yeah, therefore we demand. Therefore we demand. Monsanto designs every product utterly sustainably. Or well, at least as most as sustainably as possible. It's not, what about, like, because of what they... This goes hand-in-hand hand with public perception, though. For example, there's companies that, like McDonald's and, like, stupid fast food companies, that, that like, took surveys of, like, their patrons of if they wanted their food served in, like, a, like a styrofoam container or a plastic container or a... Um, Cardboard container, and everyone chose the cardboard container, even though it was cheaper and you know less uh, pollution in the air was for like for instance the plastic container. So I don't know. I feel like would they have to be like completely sustainable, compostable materials, which there is yeah, a technology for biodegradable. Yeah. Well, like I mean, I think that it comes down to what, what are you going to define as sustainable? Because if you're going to define like biodegradable plastic as sustainable, biodegradable plastic, a lot of it is made out of of oils from GMO corn and soy, or 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 GMO or starch made out of GMO potatoes. So if they were going to use that stuff, if GMO were sustainable, they would like they wouldn't be allowed to do that because. They so sustainable. Because they're not allowed to yeah. create GMOs because they're not. Sustainable, sustainable as in like permaculture, as in dozens of people. Yeah, yeah oil is not sustainable, in, so you can't. Yeah, yeah. Yes. with the bio yeah. yeah. It's like with the habitat. It's allowed me to. It's kind of like going off the whole like container crop. I mean, it would be just cool like if you could go into a fast food someday and just bring your own container and be like, here. Throw my cheeseburger in here. I don't need you to wrap it up. Like, yeah. you can dump the fries in there too. Like, you know, I don't need you to wrap it up with all this paper and so I can throw it away later. Like, there's no reason for that. There's already the grocery bag. People yeah. bring their own grocery bag. It's very prevalent yeah. in Davis. It's becoming a more, why can't like, you now everything. So why can't you just do that with other can't Exactly. Everything. Like, as a responsible a bank. world citizen. Mm -hmm. So. I like think really that should be a demand from Monsanto is better packaging the product. Out of the consumers, which I don't like, but it also, like, you know, really only one of the things. I'm starting to feel like we're just giving Monsanto a PR makeover. Alright, so what else do we got? Alright, so whereas. As biofuel crops grow with Monsanto technology aren't inherently sustainable because they actually require more fuel to grow the crop instead of 
instead of uh, uh, substituting another thing. Wild fuel crops are not inherently sustainable based on the way they're grown using fossil fuels and all the herbicides and pesticides and, and GMOs and uh, they're no, they're, the public should know they aren't sustainable. The net energy required to, to grow these crops is greater than what is gained. And then exactly, and then you put those those vegetables, those food that you grow, and you give it to a, like feed it to cows and stuff like that to other animals. That's more of that energy going into something. That's less energy that we Hyper, obtain. Also, with the hyper concentration of whatever chemicals may be in the food. Well, but when we we enjoy a more concentrated dosage by eating the meat that's that eating that the meat of the cow that's eating that for all all its life. So, in much the way that it, when, you, when you eat fish in the wild, the, uh, it, it, when you eat seafood, the uh, the higher up the, the fish is on the on the food chain, the more the greater the concentration of mercury and other um, chemicals that have been released into the uh, the ocean. It's 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 similar with with cows as well. So, we're enjoying twice as many pesticides or uh, as we as we would if we just simply went out and bought those vegetables and, and soy from a food store. Whereas there are worldwide multiple species collapses, i.e. bees, bats, that can be linked to Monsanto and the precautionary principle is not being applied, come on. Yeah, you'll have to and, re and, re and refine it too. Whereas there are worldwide multiple species collapses that can be attributed to Monsanto, but the precautionary principle is not being applied. Okay. Did I mention this 75% uh, of packaged foods contain GMOs? Did I say that? Yeah. No, no, one thing that we should demand... 75%? Whereas 75% where of, um, of all unpackaged all packaged foods contain GMOs. And we're going to add that as a variety. Yeah. 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 food doesn't have GMOs in it, but that's what processed food is. So we just call upon fellow humanity to boycott all products that could possibly have on it. Call I, on humanity to... I mean, this, this, I think this, this fact could lead, would be good, a good argument for labeling it so that people know, so people are aware of how much, how much of the eating, much, how much of the, how much yeah. of the stuff they intake every day yeah. is genetically modified. And if you get it labeled, then you can specifically post on a website or you know word of mouth like don't don't buy these products, and that would be that's that's the way to actually like, bring them back. Like if they get caught making something with genetically modified uh, products or anything, they should like they should be banned from making any kind of products. One thing also too that you guys will probably do, but once we figure out the law of our demands, we should definitely set a date with Law Monsanto to uh, execute these plans uh, that they have established. I'd like to see it happen by next year, 2013. Uh, to relate to that, uh, I'd like to decide a future action for maybe monthly, bi-monthly, something like that. Yeah. Until we do a time limit. Yeah, give them a Can you fill for like two seconds? I'd like to fill really here. Yeah. I, think, I think also, um, well, you know, it's, you know, after after you know the things have been addressed, um, you know, the GMOs, whatever's going on, not just with the GMOs, but you know, everything, you know, with Monsanto is pretty much, um, you know, educating the people on the repercussions of it. You know what I'm saying?
How about this one? Whereas the power is in the hands of the people and the people are not being given a choice. Monsanto is taking away our democracy. They're taking away our freedom to choose. Diseases and stuff like that is it's at a much higher rate. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of it, a whole lot of it has to do with the GMOs. You know what I'm saying? Not just disease, but there's so much. There it is. This is the worst corporation in this it is. Yeah, it's history. Well, we can sit here and talk shit about Monsanto all night. Yeah, <laughs> we really could. Years. <laughs> we could. Just, yeah. Never have much. Come on, what do they do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> they seem like nice guys. <laughs> Did anybody bring up um, yeah, look at their Monsanto's grimy oh, hands and education? Oh, 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 and they're not only fucking with uh, you know the UC Davis Ag program; they basically own it. But they're 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 at, what worries me is they're in high schools. They're doing quote grants to high schools for their ag department. They should they threatened to take away So, so whereas, uh, whereas Monsanto is privatizing <laughs> our education system, Okay, so Monsanto, whereas Monsanto has been bullying farmers uh, with lawsuits. Do you do cross This has to be, we already kind of went over that with the, 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 the patenting, yeah. Well, not specifically the fact that they're like Thomas McClarence is a uh, former things. lawyer, lawyer yes, of Monsanto and he's in the Supreme Court and nothing can ever get passed against Monsanto in yes, the Supreme yes. Court now. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's in the Supreme Court. He's a lawyer. He's a Supreme Court justice. Oh. He used to be a lawyer. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's against our country. He was appointed by the first place. So whereas Monsanto, Monsanto owns our court Rose system, Lopper, like, therefore they need to get out. We kind of already went over that. that, 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 that it ties in, get, like, with two we already kind of talked about. Yeah. Race may purchase the same power. Yeah. We hit a lot of the... Yeah, 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 we just need to, like, yeah, yeah, reference the statistics, and, yeah. And the Monsanto Project group on Facebook, um, yes. various places, they all occupy. We'll be on the event later. Since 1995, uh, taxpayer subsidies <laughs> have been used to make, uh, four different additives for junk food. It's been, uh, over 17 billion dollars. And last year, 
Monsanto spent $6.3 billion to lobby. I just worked with CalPERG, so that was what we were fighting against, was the taxpayer subsidies for junk food. That too wouldn't be so bad, right? If junk food was a, you know, was, was healthy. I know it sounds kind of funny, but, you know, like I... My grandpa, you know, he was married to this lady, she was Egyptian, right? So, man, they got all kind of different, you know, uh, different, you know, desserts and everything. But a lot of it is good for you, you know. Here, now we got, you know, fried sugar and stuff Deep like that. Corn <laughs> syrup is in almost all of our candies, if not everything we drink almost. You know, which is now being genetically modified. You know, by companies, you know, such as Monsanto's. Not just Monsanto's, but such as Monsanto's, you know. So it's definitely something that, that needs to be addressed. And, you know, same time, public educated on, you know, repercussions as well as... Alright, Monsanto just bought Cargill's International Seed. What? Um, yeah. Cargill's International Seed uh, workings for $1.4 billion. Or a million or billion, I can't remember. I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I just read the article. I think Monsanto needs to be held responsible for it. But Car Cargill's it's just a deal with Monsanto. Yeah. Yeah, the four, four companies that own 90, 70, 75% of international seed trade, the last time I looked it up, was Monsanto, Cargill, a, like ADM and Dow or something, or Ace, Ace something. So if Monsanto, yeah. if Monsanto bought Cargill, then there's only three left. Actually, yeah. On top of that, they should they should definitely be charged for the companies that they've already bought and the monopoly that they already are. Monopoly is illegal in the United States. That goes back to the freedom of choice point that we already talked about. Because if they're going to have a monopoly on our food, on our food sources, and where we get our food from, therefore, the Monsanto company should be broken down into. Yeah, so. Well, I'm a, I don't think Monsanto should be tolerated at all for all the evil so. shit they've done to this world and all the people that have died as a result. They should be tolerated. They should just yeah. revoke their corporate, corporate charter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard for a farmer to grow organically? <laughs> and there yet this is company making ten billion dollars a year, giving all the freedom to do whatever they want, and killing us all. Suicides too. Yeah, they, they say that they're. They say that the humans would be sure like they should have a lot more just. They should have a lot more just. What if how like they? I don't know what the right like perpetuated economic enslavement um, and environmental racism and like increase the deaths. Decrease the life, like living, standard of living, and um, deprive people of their basic humanity. Like, yeah, please. I was just going to say, I'm from Wisconsin, and coming from a, a town that has a lot of uh, farming culture and has a lot of small town organic farms and a lot of people that have spent three, four, five generations dairy farming, I find it incredibly disturbing that the patents on certain seeds, especially certain genetically modified seeds, uh, that are causing, uh, that have to be renewed every year and renewed or renewed every couple of years with companies like Monsanto and Dow Chemical, are causing a crossover, especially with the cross pollination of bee movements and are causing uh, a these, these organic crops to be especially infected with these genetically modified crops. Now the problem with this is the genetic patenting process allows companies like Monsanto to come in and then claim a vast majority of these small farmers' crops because these crops have been cross-pollinated with these seeds that they've currently patented. And if we have a precedent like this, we're going to set small farmers completely out of business and we're going to create a horrible precedent 
that allows the patenting of, of crops for foodstuffs, which will effectively shut out all of the organic farmers and will cause even more of an, a monopoly, which will effectively cause their profit margin to rise. So this is effectively the reason why I'm here today, because this issue of patenting is completely and totally out of control when it comes to the food steps. And what we're going to do is we're going to completely remove small agribusiness out of the picture. And that's something that simply cannot happen in this country. Without small town farmers, without the people that migrated throughout the Dust Bowl and moved to Wisconsin, moved you know, from wherever, that is literally what the food economy of our country is based upon. And if we don't respect these small farmers, we're losing touch with the working class in America. Oh, thank you for that reception. <laughs> My name is Brett Lemke. I'm a UC Davis student. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can we have that already as our I, to stop the I patenting? Yeah, I don't know if he said, but that, like food stamps and stuff, that's like one thing. Like when you're giving food stamps, you're giving like stamps for junk food and stuff. That's one thing I think our government. Yeah, exactly. That would be great. I think one thing that like, and I think that's why I think like Monsanto is a lot of that. It's like they want you to keep on buying their junk food and stuff because it's so cheap. It's like, if, you know, if they gave them like if special food stamps that were like organic or even like farmer's market, maybe it is like... Yeah, there, there, are, there, there, there are programs in some areas. <laughs> they're starting to do that for areas. Yeah, I think it needs to be, I mean, across the whole entire nation, it needs to just, it needs to be, you know, taken to action now. Where uh, it has been determined that genetically modified crops do not produce more than organic. In fact, organic production increased 10% in the past year when land grows oh, yeah. like nothing or something. Look at that factor, like how much output has increased for organic food, but the land it hasn't increased. So it's just like everyone's like cultivating it more and getting the soil healthier and more food is being produced. Anyway. Well, so therefore, you, they should denounce these practices. Are you talking about the fact... stop lying that it's... They should stop lying, really. Because they tell everyone that it's more. Well, uh, the difference is, is that that it produces fewer units of, of product per, per unit of labor. But the difference being that more units of product are produced from the same uh, amount of land, than, the space of land, than it does with the, with the organic traditional farming than it does with, with modern uh, industrial farming. But labor is an energy input, and I, if you could equate like human input to oil input or whatever, yeah. I bet it would be yeah, probably. And of course, human input is better. I think yeah. we should just try to ban the Yeah. Like, if you're the whole yeah. resolution ban yeah. the yeah. 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 One thing that somebody said to me um, was there's lots of other companies that do what Monsanto does, and if they go away, then other people will just take their place. So I think just making, making genetically modifying food illegal like so that more companies don't just sprout up we don't want like we're like screw corporations we want small local genetically mo no we don't like you know we want it to just stop because it's not right okay so with that said too um we, how many pages do we got so far like seven seven pages how many pages you got uh, one on four pages so we will type up word for word that A and B um, resolution um, proposal is, so we can see um, a growth throughout the history. So we can put this on a website like this is the first part, so people can see how it grew and what got dropped and what didn't get dropped, so people can analyze themselves to make sure that it's clear and transparent. So um, and it's completely um, democratic. So whenever this gets through, people will have that transparency and have that trust that uh, this is what came for of and by the people. So we for sure gotta um, start setting up for for Davis um, to go over there right now and get all this stuff set up. Um, what we saw daylight. And, What's happening? Oh, we're going back to Occupy Davis. And we're, we're hey! Oh, oh! We don't want your GMOs! Hey, hey! Oh, oh! We don't want your GMOs! Hey, hey! Oh, oh! We don't want your GMOs! Hey, hey! Oh, oh! We don't want your GMOs! Hey, hey! Oh, oh! We don't want your GMOs! Hey, hey! Oh,
want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. Oh. We don't want your GMOs, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. Oh. We don't want your GMOs. Allowed to play around with our democracy. Boom, boom, boom. They lobby our Congress to deregulate. Homeowners didn't find it out until too late. Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air Monsanto ain't a person, so why should it be? Allowed to play around with our air